International Super Waterweight Championship. Sponsored by Grosvenor Casino, StubHub and Scott's Menswear. And as always, you've joined us for the very best ringside seat in the business. A very special welcome to the viewers joining us live on Sky Sports. All the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control and Association for the World Boxing Council, whose supervisor is Charlie Giles, the president of the British Boxing Board of Control. Area representative is Martin Flory. Inspectors working the red and blue corner are Matt Harris and James Allen. Timekeeper at the bell is Martin Fallon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the three judges in charge of scoring this contest from France, Robin Dauplier, from Gillingham, England, Ian John Lewis, and from Wellingborough, England, John Keane. When the action begins and the bell rings, the man in charge from Paisley, Scotland, Mr. Victor Lachlan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the challengers. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks, trimmed with white and gold. Weighed in at 10 stone, 13 pounds, 4 ounces. 20 fight records, 17 wins, 6 inside, the scheduled distance, and just 3 defeats. He comes to the ring as the Midland area Super Waterweight Champion from Tiverdale, Jason Wellborn. Across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the gr green trunks trimmed with gold and white. Weighed in at 10 stone, 13 pounds, 5 ounces with a 39 fight record. 33 wins, 22 inside the schedule distance, and just six defeats. A former British and European champion and three times world title challenger, ladies and gentlemen. Originally from the Emerald Isles and now boxing out of Birmingham, England. Time to meet. Matthew McDonald McClay! <laughs> so let's get the action underway then. 10 rounds of boxing for the WBC International Super Welterweight Championship. Okay, boys, you've had your instructions in the dressing room. Remember, obey my commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all time. God bless. Touch gloves. Touch them. Massive night for both these men, Matthew Macklin, who tried to scale the summit at middleweight. And this is what is so interesting about this fight, because tonight, for the first time in nine years, he's gone back down to his old weight, super welterweight, light middleweight, as we used to call it. He says he looks good, he says he feels good. Talking to him at the weigh-in yesterday, where I thought he looked good, Paul, he said he's made the weight comfortably, He's changed his training regime over the years, and he says significantly he'll put on now 14 or 15 pounds between weigh-in and fight night. So he says he's going to weigh exactly what he used to weigh when the bell used to sound when he was at middleweight. So let's see if he still carries that kind of power up here against Jason Wellborn. I spoke to Matthew in the changing rooms, and I think it's the 15 that he's actually put back on, which is exactly what he got in the ring at when he was fighting at 11-6 at middleweight anyway. So. He is right, though, his changing regime has changed. He doesn't carry as much muscle, but he's still sharp and still a decent size, and he'll carry the power at any weight. Macklin, anyway, he's got that power, what will turn, turn fights round. He always has. It's a big night, too, for Jason Wellborn, who's won Midland area titles at a couple of weights, welterweight and super welter, but he's had a couple of British title shots and certainly wasn't disgraced in those defeats. He lost to Frankie Gavin, then he lost to your brother Liam Smith who's since gone on to win a world title in very convincing style on both occasions he looked vulnerable to body shots and if there's one thing Matthew Macklin has always had it's a left hook to the body nice patient start from Matthew Macklin you can see that Wellborn trying to counter yeah this is a decent response from Wellborn Macklin looking to tuck up and duck and roll. <laughs> Both of them have pretty much said the same thing about this fight. If they lose, it's more or less over for them. There'll be nowhere else to go. A mouse under Matthew Macklin's right eye already. A little bump, a little a bit of bruising, swelling coming up straight away. Just under the right eye from, from Matthew Macklin. And it's probably from defending. It's probably his own, his own gloves hitting his face. 
from the big shots that were coming in from Balbone in that attack then. Balbone out of range with those right hands, but he's certainly bringing some serious aggression and heat into this opening session, Jason Wellborn. back from those two British title losses to win his second area title fight last time out but uh, had to get up off the floor for that one Ryan Aston put him on the floor with a body shot but he showed a lot of grit to come out and grind out a win and he's certainly having his moments here in his opening session that was a really sharp little right uppercut there from Wellborn good fight this Macklin's face reddening up already crowd in attendance for this all Birmingham battle and in the white shirt there just uh, turning shyly away from the camera somebody you know very well Liam Smith the new WBO champion you could not have been more proud of him could you no oh, no that's exactly what every fighter wants to do win the world title he's, he's done it we're all proud of him that's what Matthew Macklin still has team to do and what he's trying to keep on track tonight so unlucky in Germany against Felix Sturm Matthew Macklin a lot of people had him holding on there in a close one but then met Sergio Martinez put up a hell of a performance there as well before being stopped late and then Gennady Golovkin just blew him away in June 2013 in Connecticut talking about body punches that is one of the, the sharpest and nastiest body shots you'll ever see cut Macklin in half and it looked like it was all over for him and he lost in Dublin against Jorge Sebastian Highland nearly a year ago. Decent right hand coming in there from Wellborn as well. But he's rebuilt. He took a lot of time off after that. Rebuilt with a couple of quick wins. Knocked both of his opponents out with body shots. And let's see if he can reinvent himself at this lighter weight. Super welterweight. And again, Wellborn having some success. Macklin looking to land the body counters. Well, there's no cagey cat and mouse stuff going on here. They're both looking to land their good stuff early. There's been no real feeling out in this fight, as you say. You know, Wellborn's come straight in. He means business. He's here to win. He's not here to, to roll over and let Macklin walk through him. Macklin's here, you know, last chance. He's trying to get another world title fight at, at, at a new weight. But he wants to try and feel comfortable at, but he's, he's up against a tough kid in Jason Wellborn, who's obviously shown that he's here to win. And Wellborn, Paul, having some success with that right hand over the left hand of Macklin. <laughs> Clearly done their homework in the Wellborn camp as well. Wellborn trying to protect the body again. Right hand over the top. Macklin trying to roll with it and then mixing in the body shots. Big assault coming in from Wellborn. Macklin doing a really good job of tucking up and blocking most of those. It's a good onslaught from Wellborn, but it's a very good defence from, from Matthew Macklin. And the thing with Macklin's defence is he blocks a lot of shots, similar to some fighters that do, you know, who like to cover up and block shots, but your, your own hands are still in your face and it causes the reddening and the marking up, which is happening to Macklin at the minute. looking to try and work the opening here in the last few seconds of this second round and the right to the body getting through enjoyed that in the Macklin corner They're looking to mix in the uppercut as well but it's boiling up nicely this one this 12 rounder Seamus Macklin work in the corner tonight. That was the good right hand from Wellborn, what we saw earlier on in the round. More of the flurries from, from Wellborn again. You know, good good defence from Macklin, blocking a lot with the gloves and trying to slip out the way of them, but still getting reddened up from his own gloves on his face, which 
he'll hope isn't a problem later on. Round three then of this ten rounder. My apologies, I called it a twelve rounder earlier. Just the ten. Matthew Macklin in the green trunks looking to work his way back to another world title shot. He does have a number 14 ranking with the WBC. Ahead of him domestically, Brian Rose is ranked number 12 with the same sanctioning body. And of course, would go up in smoke with a defeat here against Jason Wellborn. And realistically, that would be the end of the road for Matthew Macklin, who's been around a long time. And some tough old battles as Changed his trainer more than once. Been a stable mate of yours more than once, I think, down the down the years as well, Paul. Yeah, we've met up on the road on the road a few times. Buddy McGee, Joe Gallagher, Billy Graham. He's, he's always a very hard trainer. He trains really hard. He works hard. He's his own worst critic. He's also very realistic in what he knows as well in the ring. So to Lockley giving Jason Wellborn quite a telling off for a low one there and one of the smartest fighters around very self-analytical even last November when it looked like he was finished he looked at it and again this is good work from Wellborn but he looked at it and he'd spent 12 months solid in a gym and he said I'm just going to give myself a good rest and see if there's anything left he did that took himself away for six months recharged Let's see if that realism is grounded in reality here. Jason Wellborn is looking to try and prove otherwise. Wellborn starting to mark up or redden up rather around the body as some of these body shots come in from Macklin. You see the difference in levels with, with Macklin and, and Wellborn and the shot selection and the, the variety of punching at the minute, but Wellborn's still standing his ground, he's still strong and he's still having a, a right good go at this. Well, this is a massive night for Jason Wellborn as well, and everyone's always got an excuse why they lost, and he talked to Jason Wellborn, he said he lost to Frankie Gavin at welterweight, where he just didn't really carry the power, came in at short notice against Liam Smith. And he was well beaten that night. Not sure if he'd had a 12-month camp, he would have done too much there against Liam again. Decent right hand coming in from Wellborn, but Macklin caught him with a counter. And once again, Wellborn lands, and Macklin lands a counter again. Now, if this turns into a slugfest, you'd fancy Macklin. So Wellborn's got to be careful here. I think he got wobbled a couple of times there. Marking up around the side of the left eye there as those right hands coming coming in regularly from Jason Wellborn. You've seen that right hand then hit the glove, and that's, that's my point. Even if it lands on the glove, even if Macklin's blocking the shot, which he did there, see his own glove hitting his face, and then Grant gloves are nice and thin, and that's what's going to mark you up, your own hands. Your own hands hitting your own face is what's going to cause the reddening and the bruising. Round four then of this ten-rounder. Matthew Macklin, the three-time world challenger against Jason Wellborn in the red and white, the two-time Midland area two-weight champion. Wellborn looking for the win of his career. Matthew Macklin looking to keep that career intact. certainly was in the Macklin camp that Wellborn would bring his good stuff in the in the early rounds that he'd really go for it hammer and tongs as indeed he is again here and getting through with an uppercut there as well Macklin under pressure looking to try and counter and doing so to good effect it's the thing with Macklin he, he, he looks pretty comfortable there the odd one will get through but he's still trying to get his counters off but well to Wellborn he's having success to Wellborn is I've got him pinned on the ropes and I'm punching away even though nothing's landed, it's still giving him that confidence. Dug that left hook in nicely to the body there, Macklin. Then the double jab coming through. Good little spell here for Macklin. Well, 
ball not quite as gung-ho in this round as it has been because when he does lunge in, Macklin is catching him with these counters. And there is increasing accuracy and power coming with the Macklin counters. The big right hand over the top as well. This is a good round for Macklin so far. Really nice counters from Macklin. That's what he's trying to work on, Wellborn. What you see is what you get with Wellborn. He's going to come forward, he's going to keep coming. And he will he will eventually land some shots, but... Like he does there. It's for you to, to, to block and counter, block and counter, and he is there to be caught. Shot coming in there from Wellborn, but he is struggling not only with range but also getting his punches past the guard of Macklin. Macklin happy to stand and draw those leads and then try and counter as he's doing again here. But Wellborn really digging in, biting down on that gum shield, sticking with Macklin. Good fight. Good fight and a good round, very good counter stuff from Macklin and very good aggressive work from Wellborn as well. There's not much landing but he's working and he's being made to work hard, as is Matthew Macklin. Yeah. Wellborn again coming forward, Matthew Macklin, there's the uppercut they got through. Matthew Macklin trying his best to cover up and t tuck up and then come back with counters. Second out, round it was a very good round the last round. Round five of this ten rounder then. <laughs> Macklin being made to work by a very game Jason Wellborn, who really stepped up for this one. <laughs> A couple of shots of the British title ended unsuccessfully for him. This would be a career win if he can pull it off. They've been marked up around both eyes, especially the left eye. As you said, Paul, he might have been catching a lot of those rights over the top, but he hasn't been catching all of them. And those that he does catch, his own gloves going into his face. Well, listen, the, the odd few I've got through, you know, he is going to get caught. He has to block the majority and try and counter and Wellborn needs to just keep trying to plug forward like this and keep trying to land them shots. A little bit of kidology there from Macklin as he missed badly with those hooks, a little smile and a nod from Macklin. Wellborn so far has soaked up these body shots pretty well. For a guy who has a history in that department, and Macklin will know it. <laughs> Again, he comes thudding in, doesn't he? Just loading up with everything he's got. Got a body shot through there as well. Continue just to keep the pressure on Macklin and a low one. Another one. Noticeable from the reaction from Macklin. Uh, yeah, the noise from Macklin as soon as that landed. We, we could physically hear him from here. Yeah. Well, Victor Lachlan went and had a, a strong word with Jason Wellborn, whether he's going to take action or not. We'll have to wait to see when Macklin recovers. There's no question about it, as you say. It's those type of shots, you know, you, it's like a lottery where they land, whether they land on the actual private part or whether they eat it in the bladder, you know, it's just the sword and you just above it, just below your stomach and in your bladder. You, you just, you just that's why you wear those protective cups you just don't want to take one down there and Matthews allowed five minutes now if he needs it to, to, to recover by the referee by the rules yeah, a lot of uh, abuse he's getting from sections of the crowd who presumably have uh, never experienced something like that and Macklin certainly entitled to the full five minutes and clearly not going to rush things he's now ready Is he going to get away with it, or is he going to get a point off? No, here comes the point. There's been a few. It's not just the yeah. up one. There's been a few. I think that's what Victor Lockman just told. Uh, you know, he's just told him well one as he as he took it off him. I think there's been a few. You know, it's not just the first time. Well, that's just made 
Well Braun's challenge all the more difficult. I haven't really asked you about your card yet, Paul, but for me, Macklin's just been edging rather than dominating rounds and yeah, the, a point yeah, taken off as well. Yeah, of course. They haven't really been two close rounds, but you know, Macklin's been doing the better quality work in every round, and even though Well Braun's had the more work rate in some of them. There, though, well bought. And Macklin out of range with his right hook to the body. Went around the back. Here comes Wellborn again, still trying to pour it on, trying to break through. But again, keeps oh, getting counters. caught with these counters. Macklin boxing really well under pressure here. Just picking some shots, but again, keeps getting caught. And that's a concern going forward. And Wellborn just really digging in and shaking him again. And again, he might be in trouble here because Macklin took another low one. And once again, the crowd not impressed. Well, Jason we've got a bit well of everything here, haven't we? Yeah, Jason Wellborn, he, he's, he's a lucky lad in a way. You know, he'd done this to Liam Smith when he boxed Liam in the Apple Arena. And as soon as the referee said box again, Liam, Liam returned the favour straight away. letting it go as a point he's a, he's a lucky lad tonight I'm not sure he gets away with the third one though well there it was not as blatant as the previous one but still clearly low and Macklin again forced to take an extended timeout on one knee Wellborn being told to go back into his corner he's prowling and pacing and Victor Lachlan saying no you stay there if Victor Lachlan had not had the other talk to him, he'd be, he'd be really worried now. He'd be wondering whether he was actually going or not, whether he was going to be disqualified. But I think Victor just had to talk to him and told him it wasn't as low as the previous one and it possibly looked accidental, so he won't be throwing him out. But I think he's on very thin ice here, Jason Wellborn. Well, if he wanted to drag Macklin into a real toe-to-toe -to -toe war, he may just have done that. And trying to soften him up on the bell here. A dramatic round. needed now because that was all getting a bit out of control and a real edge to this fight and a real edge in the crowd as well it's it's taken a bit of momentum out of the the previous round of you know the the round before it was a very good round it was warming up nice and it was just edging into a very good fight and then the low blow goes in and takes the sting out of everything and takes the momentum out of the fight and listen those type of shots as well you know, they, they're going to take it out to Matthew Macklin, whether he likes it or not. They like body shots, they're going to hit, they're going to have the toll later on in the fight. And Matthew Macklin's safe, you know, we hope it doesn't. And while we were in the Macklin corner, Victor Lachlan was in the Jason Wellborn corner and basically said, any more of that, you're out. He's got to be really careful now, Wellborn. Be rough, be aggressive, be physical. But do it within the rules. Well, if nothing else, Paul, Jason Wellborn has asked some questions of Matthew Macklin. How much does he still want this? Because he really is being given an examination in there. He's a, he's a tough, stubborn type of opponent. That is an ideal measurement of, you know, what you want in front of your foot. Say British title fights, English title fights, but it's up to Matthew Macklin now to turn on his skill and, and show his real level and try and up the game to, to get Wellborn out of there. Got a body shot in clean there, Macklin. Right hand. The crowd absolutely energised by this. Both men have plenty of support in the building. They've enjoyed this one. Well, you're enjoying it as well. Everyone's enjoying it except Macklin. 
been a tough old night for him, and here comes Wellborn once again. Macklin watching, countering cleverly off the back foot again, as he has done all night. That's the thing with fighters who, who like to counter a lot, like Matthew Macklin's doing tonight. A lot of it will go unnoticed. The crowd will cheer when Wellborn comes marauding forward, and Matthew may block a lot of shots, but the odd one that gets through will be noticed because of the crowd and because of the shouting. Matthew's counters will then go unnoticed, but Jason Wellborn is working hard. He's, he's, he's thrown a lot of punches, and he's, he is coming forward with very good pressure. And it's, it's been a bit difficult for Matthew to, to counter every shot, but he's blocking nice. Well, under the right eye as well as the bit of the damage to the side of both eyes. No cuts yet from Macklin, but he's certainly been banged around. And Wellborn once again coming at him with those straight line attacks. No great finesse to Jason Wellborn's work, but he really sticks to what he's got. Nice body shot again from Macklin. Nice and a switch count. upstairs. Nice double jab in there as well. Good little spell this from Macklin once again. You know, Macklin's very good at mixing up the head and body, especially with the jab. He dictates a lot with the jab. Head and body, feints to the body, nice with it as well. And really mixing it up well in this round. Well, let's rejoin Andy Scott. He's got uh, an time from Jamie Wall with him. Jamie, the last time Matthew made this weight was against you in 2006. What have you made of his performance so far? Um, it's been difficult for him. Jason Wellborn, he, he's putting in a tremendous performance. You know, this is like his World Cup final. Um, Matt, he started off, there's been patches in the fight where he's looked real good. He's put his shots together well. And there's been patches where he's been hit too cleanly. Uh, the right hand over the top, um, especially, he's been, he's been getting caught with clean. Um, but again, his counter punch has been sharp off the road. So it's been a little bit of hit and, hit and miss. Uh, whether it's the level of the op opponent, whether he can't get up for it or, or what, I don't know. Maybe it's the stage in his career, the weight, I don't know. There's some sort of issue, but he's, he's just not on it tonight. Alex, is Matthew winning this fight for you? Yeah, he's a few rounds up for me. He's looked good in spells. Um, it's no the Matthew Macklin that we've seen before. We know he's dropped down in weight. I think that's affecting his performance. Thanks, guys. Well, which leads us on to a question for you, Paul. You just heard what Alex just said there. He thinks that going down a weight has affected the Macklin performance. What do you make of Matthew Macklin, the super welterweight tonight? I just think he's up against someone who's really fast work rate coming in and very awkward, you know, but Matthew should be he should be getting out the way of these shots, what he's been taking. And he should be he should be up in the up in the gears and going through the gears a little bit more. But as we all said in the, in the build-up, he's had a bit of time out and you know, there's an argument for Wellborn. Some of the judges may not be scoring it the way I'm scoring it, scoring the clever way and the blocking and the counter, and, and they could just be scoring the aggression and giving some rounds to Wellborn. You know, but it, it is how you see it, and it is what you see. It's a right nice body shot. shot. Wellborn yeah. fell back, he slowed right down. The left of the body sunk in. Macklin knew it and continues the assault. There's the switch upstairs as well, but that left hook to the body has shaken Jason Wellborn. He came back with a decent shot of his own there, Wellborn, but that's the first time in the fight that Macklin would have sensed he can hurt him with those body shots. Wellborn a little bit slower, a bit more circumspect here. Not charging in. Well, Macklin just a raid, get back out of range. He's slowed right now. And his style has changed completely here, Wellborn. That's allowing Macklin more or less to tee off as he wants. A gum shield comes out. Jason Wellborn at all, another little unscheduled stop. Still the gunner shield cleaned off. Now, here's Wellborn. 
manage to fully recover, really come out and start launching some of those assaults that we've seen from him in the previous six rounds. Again, this is when Wellborn's at his best. Again, forcing Macklin to roll and try and block, but enough's getting through. There was a left hand in there that just zinged him past the jaw of Macklin. And again, he's blocked most of them, and again, sinking in the body shots. And Wellborn felt that double hook to the body. Backing up again, and Macklin looking to try and measure him. And just tease a lead where he can counter him again, but Wellborn really starting to feel these body shots. You see the old spy thunders coming out from Matthew Macklin. Let Wellborn have a go, let him punch, punch, punch. When it comes back to take that gulp of air, you go down and then bang away to the body yourself. Again, you know, it's another one of those rounds. Do you want to look at Wellborn's aggressiveness and not landing on the target area, or do you want to look at the clever boxing from from Macklin blocking the majority of the shots and then retaining with nice counters. Matthew Macklin's jab for the first half of that fight was, was the one that was dictating the, 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 the round and dictating the fight. Nice right over good going through, that's when Macklin's gum shield came out. But you see, this is the attack from, from Wellborn. A lot of them missing, some of them getting through. Again, you know, missing Macklin tying the counters and then coming around a lovely body shot and Wellborn's done very well taking that and staying up off that because that landed perfect on the target. Yeah, there were three or four of those that landed clean. Yeah. He's shown his toughness tonight, Jason Wellborn. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, this guy, Matthew Macklin, has done a very solid job defensively because he's rolled and blocked and slipped. Not everything, has, as we've already said, Paul, but a lot of Wellborn's work has been wasted. And Wellborn has worked so hard tonight, put everything he's got into this. Still here, still standing as well, the Tividale man. Round eight of ten. of uh, fights worth seeing. We still have to go a long way to beat that 2006 British title Good fight against Jamie Moore. Yeah, it was. The sheer drama, that one nine years ago. That stands right up there with any others you care to mention. And here he comes again, well born. Doubling up the left hand there, back in. Wellborn takes more and more risks and leaves himself open as a bit of tiredness creeps in. But there's also the knowledge in the Wellborn camp that there have been one or two late collapses in the career of Matthew Macklin. the thing you need to look at if you're a well-born fan he landed a nice right hand a, a, a very good right hand perfect on the chin of Macklin and then when he followed it up a lot of arms and elbows and gloves and Ma allowed Matthew Macklin to ease his way back into the round and, you know and dictate again off his jab out of range again there well-born badly out of range this time His attacks to the body have really dried up from necessity because he knows one more low blow and he's out of there. That's taken something from his game. Is it on? again you know, from Macklin just slip and slip and step out of range and they come back with a counter is another good right hand <laughs> back 
pin on the assault once again. And a left hook from Wellborn right on the bell and a dirty look from the Timmerdale man as Mackley went back to his corner. A little bit of edge in this one now. Matthew knows now, Matthew Macklin, that he can hit Jason Wellborn to the body and he's just going to keep trying it, but you know, back to the days of when Matthew Macklin was fighting the journeyman coming up, you've got to prize them up, you've got to try and find them shots and find the angles, especially when they're looking for them. There's the right hand from the early on in the round that we were talking about from Wellborn. Good shot, Matthew missed, Matthew Macklin missed with the counter, trying to come back, but then Wellborn let Macklin into the round again, you know, and, and didn't capitalise on that. Big shot that he landed. This has been a top nine. For both of them. They both put a lot into this. It's been a very tough fight for both of them. It's been enjoyable to watch as well. It really has. And when you made that mistake at the start of the fight, I'm starting to wish it wasn't a mistake now, and it was a 12-rounder. <laughs> I don't think these two wish it was a 12-rounder. They're happy it's 10. You heard Matthew Macklin in his corner there saying, where are we? In round nine, one more after this. Once again, well born. With an all-or-nothing assault. What would happen if Macklin suddenly tired? And Wellborn put one of those attacks together. It's the thing with, with the low blows as well, Nick, which may explain them. You know, a lot of frustration. He, he's missed a lot of shots tonight, Wellborn. He's thrown, he's thrown plenty of shots at the target area of the back and he's slipped and blocked and got out of the way a lot of them. And it is frustrating and it is sort of heartbreaking if you're doing it all night. Pace has slowed the longer it's gone on, hardly surprising. Both of them just launching flurries again, a couple of long right hands over the top for Wellborn, getting through, finding their target. As good counters coming back from Macklin, just ripping in the right hands, and the left of the body. And again, Wellborn soaking it all up, comes back with a big right hand of his own. Really good scrap this. And again, the gum shield comes out. And again, the crowd's going to go crazy. That's the second time the Macklin gum shield has hit the canvas. And they both look very, very tired. Can one of them yet find something very special that can turn this decisively in their favor but a real test of courage and heart as much as anything this one for both of them there goes macklin on the attack once again again ripping in the body shot another deep breath from wellborn who's taken so much punishment and again another body shot and wellborn not having any of it and turning macklin around and Macklin just cannot get rid of this man. What a show of guts this is from Wellborn. Good fight to watch, Nick. Good, really good way from both fighters, trying the best to win this fight. And he's just coming down to a bit of grip now. Both of them are backing down and just swinging away. You know, the, neither of them want to give a, give a bit of ground, and it's, it's great to watch. Nine utterly absorbing rounds. One to go. There's the stuff again on the ropes from Macklin. Really trying to target the body, really trying to get them shots in. Again, well-born, stubborn as in and keep coming back. Strong, tough, trying to sell. He landed a nice left hook himself there as well, well-born. Actually knocked the gum shield out and Cause the, uh, the referee to step in and, and give it a wash and change it again. Yeah. Uh, Seamus Macklin working with his brother. It's one of those fights for me. But this fella, 
of my card. He's a long, long way behind, and yet every round has been close. He's put so much into it and made Macklin work every minute of the fight. Exactly, and it's, it's one of those fights. I can't see an argument for many people having Wellborn ahead, but they have been pretty close rounds where, you know, Wellborn's the aggressor, but Macklin's got the better technical work. The 10 8, of course, is where the point came point off. Deduction. Yeah, the scorecard, if, if that's accurate, and it will go to three scoring judges, doesn't give Wellborn the credit he deserves because every round has been close, and Wellborn has had his success in every round. And the judges, as you've said repeatedly, may look at his aggression. Of course, it, it's, it's what you like and it's how you score in fights. I always, you know, I've always said it, it's, it's aggression and it's clever boxing, it's what you want to go for. Wellborn is landing a lot more this round, though. Both of them just digging in. Wellborn finishing really strongly here. And just forcing a response and a performance from Macklin. Nice jolting uppercut from Macklin, then a body shot. He's kept himself together well. Can he keep going for less than two minutes here, Macklin? Head's just coming together there. Wellborn leading with the head. That's timeless. He's getting a telling off. It's no way that was. levels from both fighters as well, all the way through the fight. Well, it's, it's one of those fights that the loser said they're finished, they're washed up, nowhere to go. But if Jason Wellborn does end up on the losing end of this one, a performance like this, washed yeah. up, I don't think so. It's the best I've seen Wellborn, and he's certainly improved since, the, since his last fight, since the last time I saw him. Again, landing clean there. Wellborn. This has been a much better effort than he made against Gavin or against Liam Smith. He's gritted his teeth, he's really gone for it, and he's put everything he has into it. It's been a bit crude and wild, but it's been so wholehearted and committed, and here he is, still coming on strong, taking counters. And he took another one there, Macklin has stayed really sharp under pressure, but caught another one there, Macklin, toe-to-toe, -to -toe. what a war! <laughs> this is great stuff. The first question would just be a really short answer. It really has been a good fight. They both deserve so much praise and respect for this. Whatever the scorecards say, and it will go to those three scoring judges. Two from the UK, one from France. Unless something utterly sensational happens now in the last 20 seconds. Again, Macklin popping the punches in. Wellborn refusing to give ground. Just going for it. Hell for leather, landing again there. Macklin soaking it up. And looking for the big finish himself. What a fight. What a terrific scrap that was. Standing ovation, well deserved. Andy Scott is with Alex Arthur. That's a call. Alex back down into his seat. He was on his feet. Alex, who did you have winning that in the end? I think Mac Matthew's just done enough to win. I think the cleaner shots, busier, more variety in his work. I give it to Macklin. All credit to Jason Wellborn, who made it a contest throughout. If you look at Macklin's record, though, a three-time former world title challenger, is that the sort of fighter that he should be beating inside the distance? Well, you would like to think so. You know, but we know that Matthew's never made that weight for a long, long time. You know, I think that affected his performance. I know what it's like to lose a lot of weight prior to a big fight, and I think that definitely affected him. But credit to Wellborn. You know, he, he made a great fight of that. He pushed Matthew really, really hard. What issues are created by taking weight off? You were someone that, towards the end of your career or throughout your career, made some horrendous sacrifices making the weight. It's, it's terribly draining on your body. There's only so many times that you can go to the well and, and actually recover after you've made the weight. Each time takes something away from you. The harder the fight is after making the weight, takes something further from you. I, I really do feel that it was a, probably the wrong decision for Matthew to go back down a weight. Who has ever been successful in the history of boxing by dropping back down a weight that they've not made in a long time? It's a really difficult thing to do, Andy. And I think tonight we've seen a, a version of Matthew Macklin that was affected by weight making. At the same time, though, it was a local derby and a lot at stake, and Jason Wilborn fought like it was his World Cup final, his world title fight. So is it too early to write Macklin off? Yeah, possibly. Possibly a little bit too early. You know, we, we, we can see there that, that Wilborn was highly motivated by that fight.
It's not the kind of fight that Matthew Macklin is able to get up for. Let's see him in a, in a, in a, in a bigger fight of the weight and see how, he, see, see how he develops there. Let's hear the result with MC John McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, rightly so, your referee Victor Lachlan has asked you to show your appreciation. That was 10 incredible rounds of boxing. Truly an incredible bout. The three judges' scorecards read Robin Dolpier scores a contest 96 94, Ian John Lewis 96 94, John King 97 93. All three judges are in favour of the winner and the new WBC International Super World Awaited Champion from Birmingham, Matthew. All three judges did give a lot of credit to Wellborn for his work yeah. rate and his intensity, but Macklin's done enough. Yeah, he has. I gave Wellborn the last round, I gave him a share of him, and then that, that for me is, is on the smarter way. You know, I, I, I promise you, there's no biasness there, there's no there's no real favouritism either with the home fighter or the, the, the sky fighter, so to speak. That's just a clever work. If it's like if it's a Floyd made with the type of fighter, then you you stand on your feet, clapping your hands, praising the display. If it's a if it's if it's a good scrap like this in a, in a in a, in an arena in Birmingham against two pretty local lads, then you're gonna say it's it, it's a close fight. But it's how you score it and it's how you do it. But all three judges agree with the, with, with the winner, and that don't, I don't think that was ever in doubt. No, absolutely not. Despite the uh, boos and jeers from the Wellborn fans, well, it was a tough old night. He went down to super welterweight for the first time in nine years and he comes out with the win i wonder what he made of it all let's uh, hear from matthew macklin now with andy matthew a thoroughly entertaining fight probably more entertaining than you wanted it to be how do you reflect on that performance yeah it wasn't a great performance but you know i was working on a few things i was sitting on the ropes too long you know practicing and training kind of sitting there catching and countering rolling the jack coming back sometimes it worked lovely sometimes i got caught it's, that's the type of move it is when it works it's brilliant and it doesn't you know it's bad so yeah, but you're working on things, you're trying things. You're not, you're not going to get them all right straight away. So, yeah, it, a lot of times I let him get too much momentum. It's all right sitting there, blocking one, two, three shots. Then really you got to come back. Sometimes I was lying there too long and let him get five, six, seven, eight. Crowd would get behind him and he was getting his confidence up into the fight. So, you know, with my experience, I should have been a bit more, shouldn't have allowed that as much as I did. But having said that, a lot of them were gliding off me and I was coming back with nice ones and twos, hard shots. He was maybe saturating me with 10, but I was landing two or three clean. So, you know, yeah, 